All right, guys, like promised, a short little video on the sh modifications I made to the Hulk Helium climbing sticks. First being, which I think is the most important because of the weight reduction and the noise reduction, is the Versa button rope mod. And as you can see, you simply just remove the original hardware from the Hulk sticks and replace it with the Versa button from Lone Wolf. Uh, you use the pre existing hole in the stick and you're able to slide the bolt right through. On two of my sticks, I just had to screw it in a little bit to help it get through but it went in with no problem with no adjustments I also bought the 8 millimeter accessory cord and down in the description I'll put a link to all the websites that I bought everything from so you guys can at least take a look at along with some links to some YouTube channels where I learned how to do everything which they will explain it in a little bit more detail secondly I removed the two middle steps of the stick because I'm able to make the full 30 inch step or it's about 28 or 29 inch step with no problem. I'm a little, link, a little lengthy at 5'11 and there was no need for that middle step for me. So I did go ahead and remove them by just simply removing the hardware and that just helps with the, the weight reduction as well. And lastly I did the step aid or the step extension and the way I did that was simply by tying an overhand knot in the step to make the reach that I want it which is about 12 to 18 inches that will give me an extra two feet off the ground when climbing into the tree and I did use the existing straps from the cam buckles that it came with and I put it onto the stick by using the original loop that was stitched in and I did that by removing the cleat the tree cleat and sliding it up over the stick and the way I rest it is over the steps and the reason why I do it that way is because it gives you more clearance from the tree when it's up so it's going to give me no problem putting my foot in and to help with the step and give it a little bit more shape and a little bit more rigidness I used 550 paracord and did a cobra weave and also used some leftover accessory cord placed it in the middle of the strap pinched it over or folded it over and used some tape to hold it in place and that way it gave it a little bit more stiffness a little bit more rigid to hold its shape and for ease of getting your foot in so one other thing that you'll notice on the bottom part of the Versa button I made this little cutout reason being when stacking them together the bolt on the back side seeds into the next stick that will be below it so it will sit in here helping it stack a little bit better and and be a little bit more compact and tight. Okay, so for those of you who are planning on doing the Versa button rope mod, uh, a couple things. As one of my viewers in the other video commented, the sticks are not going to stack as nicely together because of all the rope. So what I'm going to do is show you how I wrap the rope around the sticks and how I stack them and the reason why I do it. So I start off with the loop around the Versa button and I head up to the top of the stick between the two steps and then I run it down the center of the stick going in between the bracket on the top side along the bottom and when I get to the bottom of the stick I wrap it underneath the step as you can see here underneath the step and I come over the top now the reason why I do that is because the two bolts on the bottom side when you're stacking the sticks on top, those bolts will rest on the rope and stop any metal, on metal contact here. Then I continue behind the other step on the side, back up and around the Versa button. Then I come back down one more time and I feed it into the groove here, back underneath the steps, which I'll show you on this one how it's done. So it comes back underneath the step like the other rope in the groove back underneath the step, I come all the way up and then I pull it nice and tight and everything is uh, nice and together. Now two more things, the reason why I come down over here, one it holds the, the rope nice but it also stops and acts as a buffer when the other stick rests up against it and stops any middle metal contact there. And also the reason why I run it down the center of the stick is from where the Versa button bolt comes through on the opposite side the rope is gonna rest between the stick and the Versa button. 
creating a space there and stopping any contact. The bolt still fits through that cutout that I made. So I'm gonna throw in a picture here to show you how that stacks up. Now, they're not 100% solid when you're stacking them just like that, but when you put the bungees on them and the cinch strap from the tree stand, they're just as rock solid and just as quiet. One more thing I plan on doing is putting some stealth strip or some type of camo tape or cloth tape right over here around the stick and that's because of when the bracket from the top stick as I'll show you here goes on top it will stop any type of middle middle contact and just help deaden some of that noise that's the only other point of contact of where the metal the metal touches all right I'm also going to just throw in that I'm going to also add cloth tape down here to the bottom of the stick like I am towards the top because there is some times that the bolt does touch the metal, even with the rope here. And it doesn't make that much noise because it's not clanking, it's hitting the rope first. But just for that extra security.